vanskelig å få komme meg inn på meg selv. Jeg husker jo ikke... Maybe we will put it later. Kom og prøv, mens jeg... Jeg skal bare vise den der stillefilmene. Jeg har... Sí, sí, pero que no sé qué quiere hacer con el Instagram. Ah, ¿qué quiere enseñar? Ya, por eso dice ya no André a Stille. No trene Stille, de habla Pjur, que es mi caseta. Ya, you wonder how many... Oh, not you, but... I have one, two... How many days on a leash? Like pulling? Ya, how many... Wait a minute, what? Ya, ok. For film. Ok. ¿Está grabando? Uh, how many days do you train? Uh, ah, ¿cuántos, que, eh, ¿Cuántos días entrenas con el perro atado y si entrenas días alternativos? Eh, no me acuerdo cómo era la pregunta en español. ¿Días alternos con descanso o alguna vez realizas entrenamientos varios días seguidos? Ah, uh, how many days do you train uh, pulling your dogs in one week? And, uh, do you train alternate days with rest or do you ever train several days in a row? Uh, we train several days in a row. Yeah. Uh, when we start it's maybe in s beginning of September, maybe every second day, uh, average. If Dice que cuando están en, en septiembre eh, cada, o sea, un día sin otro. But uh, later it will be around maybe Five times a week. Eh, pero más adelante entrena sobre cinco días a la semana. Uh, but then when we can let them run free, it can be uh, three times pulling and three, four times running free. So you train all days? And three yeah, three yeah, pulling but, and four uh, but, free? But uh, like the free running is just fun. Yeah. I mean, for but, th they uh, think it's fun. But with the bike or motorbike or uh, ATV? Yeah, it's been with a scooter and two dogs for all years until last year. But now it's more and more ATV. Yeah. Just because André is a musher and he is working every day and just to get everything to... Yeah. Dice que luego más adelante entrena... Mm -hmm. o sea, que en septiembre empieza un día sin otro, pero que cuando está en la temporada entrena hasta eh, cuatro días atados y tres sueltos. Que, que dice que el free running es como para divertirse y que antes lo hacía con el patín y dándole, pero como su hijo está trabajando todos los días, pues le es más fácil hacerlo con el quad. But a, a perfect, uh... A training thing for me would be go biking, maybe with two dogs or a scooter for uh, yeah, maybe six, eight kilometers yeah. and then go one hour free running and then go back six, eight kilometers. I think that would be perfect, but it just don't, doesn't work that way. I think that for her, a good training is to go six kilometers, between six and eight kilometers with the bike and two dogs hacer una hora de entrenamiento suelto y volver seis o ocho kilómetros con los perros atados. I, I don't... And, uh, with a team, for example, with uh, a then, yeah. four or six dog team. Uh, yeah, that would be perfect to go with the ATV first and then let them run free and ATV home. Yeah. Uh, and I would do almost the same. Yeah. But, uh, so, but uh, um, between six and eight kilometers pulling, Yeah, pulling, yeah. One hour free running yeah. and another six or yeah, eight. Yeah, to get ah, okay. back home. Uh, and Dice que con, que con seis o ocho perros también. But remember, there is no faucet. Yeah. It's How many hours do you, uh, do you use for train dogs in one day? One day? All the time. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's not all the time, but I'm lucky I can be with the dogs a lot and in the morning when I go out just to give them food, it, it, 
it's soon one hour because I like to let them run free around the house and just be. Cuando va a echarles por la mañana una hora. And um, maybe the same when I give them water. They they get really spoiled actually. Yeah, but when uh, you go for but, a train, how many hours do you use for? Uh, no, the train? I, it's not more that. It's not much actually. The free running can be one and a half hour, but for training in the fall on ATV or bike, yeah. will normally never be more than one hour. Dice que cuando los lleva sueltos, pues una hora, hora y media, y que atados nunca más de una hora. Actually, we train quite short. The long training, like I said, the nine kilometer today and the fourteen kilometer uh, one week ago. Uh, Well, mine is not so long, but the 14 is not very often. Maybe we do uh, 14, 15, 17, 18 kilometer um, four times in the in the winter. In the no, in the month. Fall. In the fall, in the dryland season, yeah. not more. But I just like to have some long, just to see what happens. Dice que los entrenamientos largos atados, esos de 14, 16, 18 kilómetros, no los hace mucho en la temporada de, de tierra, pero que sí que los hace unas cuatro veces para ver lo que pasa. As a human, uh, if you train short and fast all the time and you get injured, uh, you will soon be in a very bad shape. But if you train this more long training, like uh, slower long runnings, yeah and you get sick, then you will uh, easier get back to the level you were. Dice que si entrenas corto y rápido y tienes un problema, vas a perder la forma muy rápido, pero que si entrenas largo y, largo y más despacio y tienes un problema, que vas a recuperar más fácil la forma. I think it's the same with dogs, but it's so hard to get dogs to have a low pulse. Because yeah. they run like hell every. Dice anyway. que es igual que las personas, pero que es muy difícil llevar a los perros con bajas pulsaciones. And I van siempre. Don't want the dogs to trot. Y que ella no quiere que los perros troten. Because they learn so. Porque fast, lo aprenden muy habits. rápido. Yeah. Uh, uh, another question. Ah, uh, is typical in Spain. Uh, si solo pudiese preparar. En tierra, la temporada de esquí yorin, eh, ¿cuántos kilómetros harías entrena entrenando en tierra? Eh, if you could only train uh, on dry land for the ski yorin season, uh, in Spain is typical because we have yeah, only the snow, course. for example, in Baqueira. Uh, how many kilometers uh, would you train uh, on dry land for the ski yorin? Uh, Season yeah, how between fast is the ski during season? Uh, no, yeah, how far? I mean, a 15k? Maybe? Yeah, 15k. Uh, uh, I think it's really hard to train 20k on dry land. Yeah. But on snow, it's no problem. Yeah, so, but if you can train only yeah, in dry yeah, land. Yeah, I know. So uh, uh, if Me. you if you can combine it with uh, having the dog running free a little bit. Uh, like you say, for example, yeah. six kilometers, yeah. one hour free, and another yeah. six. Yeah. And I would, uh, if it's warm or whatever, I would do. You can do one training in the morning, and then you can do one more training in the evening. Yeah. As long as it's fun for the dogs. Remember the brains, yeah. because in my experience, uh, I never trained the dog too much physically. Yeah. I think the mental part is... Dice que una forma buena puede ser la de entrenar un tiempo atado y otro tiempo suelto y otro tiempo atado, como ha dicho antes, pero que también es bueno, si no te pasas de entrenamiento, entrenar mm, por la mañana sin llegar a perder la motivación del perro y volver a entrenar por la tarde. Entonces con eso igual puede... Y Pola que ha preguntado que cuántos kilómetros puede hacer en tierra para entrenar en nieve, pues así ha respondido. But if I could choose f uh, from dry land or bad winter, like uh, going through the snow and shitty yeah. conditions, I would rather ha have uh, dry land preparing for the winter season. Yeah. Dice and you que have all the icy stuff and shit. So. Dice que ella también, si las condiciones de nieve son malas, que se hunde el perro o hay eh, mucho hielo que prefiere preparar la temporada de nieve en tierra. Es más calidad. Ah. 
another question uh, de Pedro eh, en deportes monodog con cross skiorin ¿Cuáles son los errores más comunes por los cuales los perros no dan el 100% de su potencial físico en las competiciones? Ah, uh, in your opinion, in monodog sport like canicross or uh, ski joring or scooter, uh, what are the the most uh, common mistakes uh, of the owner that cause dogs don't give the 100% when they are pulling? What are the most common, yeah, I common mistakes? The question. Um, uh, I would train more with other people, uh, so it would be more fun for the dogs. Maybe if they train too much alone, or uh, they they follow a program just to follow the program. Ah, dice they, que los errores más comunes puede ser entrenar mucho solo sin otra gente, que los perros no se lo pasan bien o entrenar demasiado. And uh, yeah, they learn from each other, so you should uh, find friends with the good dogs, like fast dogs. Ah, dice que es bueno entrenar con gente que tiene perros rápidos porque los perros copian mucho unos de otros. And maybe you can do some playing in the end. I see a lot of Europeans have this kong or ball yeah. or we don't do that, but I always say to Andrea that oh, it would be nice to have a gift in the end. Uh, Dice que también puede ser eh, eh, divertido pues darles un premio al final como un juguete que él nunca lo ha, ella nunca lo ha hecho, pero le ha dicho a André que puede ser divertido hacerlo. I think most people are nice, but just remember to be um, nice with the dog. Ah, to dice respect que la, the que dog. la mayoría de las personas es, es eh, buena y divertida con los perros, pero que es importante serlo. And normally, if a dog makes a mistake or something, it's our fault. Dice que si alguna vez eh, algún perro hace algo mal, que es nuestra culpa. Uh, but some dogs, they just don't want to run. Y que Sometimes it's like that. Y que algunos perros no quieren correr, que a veces es así. Yeah. And, and uh, I think in, in the real old days, we, not we because I was so small, but The dogs were more, uh, they were more forced to run, yeah. like more physical, um, they yeah. talked more physical to the dogs, and I don't like that. The, the machine we have today sh is and should be about happy dogs, happy owner, owners. Ah, dice que hay gente pues, que se preocupa mucho en el entrenamiento físico de los perros, pero que el musing que tenemos ahora es que los perros sean felices y se lo pasen bien con lo que hacen. And another question, eh, para pruebas de tierra entre 4 y 6 kilómetros en pretemporada, ¿qué kilometraje semanal máximo considera adecuado para un perro específico de tiro? ¿Qué porcentaje de esos kilómetros lo haría sueltos y atados? Joda. Uh, for uh, dryland races between 4 uh, and 6 kilometers in pre-season, mm -hmm. so in uh, August or September, Uh, what maximum uh, week, weekly uh, kilometers uh, do you consider appropriate uh, for a specific slick dog breed like Greyster or Eurohound? It's depending on the temperature. Yeah, depending on the temperature. Um, we had one race in, uh, maybe it was in late August. And Andre just started to train the dogs, and they had the race for 5.2k. And uh, we both decided that he was not going to start in that race because he wasn't prepared. And you know, when it's a race, you just you lose a little bit your yeah. both dogs and humans. They want to go fast, so uh, you should. Uh, you should be prepared before you do stuff, of course. But I don't yeah, actually. Yeah, Uh, for a, a how many kilometers in a week do you think that is okay for the pre-season? How many kilometers, for example, 40 in a week or 50 oh. or 60 or? I don't know. I need my calculator. <laughs> uh, no, I, I never thought of the training that way. Dice que nunca piensa el entrenamiento de esta forma. But 
What I do like is always to train longer than the races. I like to have more uh, kilometers. Dice than que ella the... siempre le gusta entrenar eh, más kilómetros que los que se hacen en las, carrera, en las carreras. It's always been like that for us. Que siempre lo hacen así ellos. But I don't do long distance because then it would be difficult. No. But for uh, for sprint. Yeah, well, but for example, for a sprint, uh, for a sprint. Uh, yeah, if you're doing a scooter, mono scooter, I would. Uh, but how cold is it? Yeah, When is it starting to rain? Yeah, depending on uh, the temperature. Yeah, I think this. So, but we can. Yeah, but. but uh, ya, 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 ya. No está a 46 grados. O sea, eso ya no lo estamos subiendo. Ya, pero por ejemplo, en agosto, entre 12 y 18 grados, ¿cuántos many kilómetros do you do in a week? Entre 12 y 18. Ah, uh, it, it's the slide from earlier. So it's uh, every second day, uh, between 4 and 8 kilómetros. Cada un día sin otro entre 4 y 8 para una temperatura de entre 12 y 18 grados. But, uh, but you have to start slowly. Pero tienes que empezar más despacio. And you have to every day look out the window and uh... Y cada día mirar la temperatura, abrir la ventana y mirar la temperatura. And uh, 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 what percentage of those kilometers would you do free and pulling? In a pre-season, how many kilometers? Uh, what is the percentage between uh, uh, in pulling and uh, running and free? free? Yeah, more uh, or less. We are not allowed to have dog, dogs free in the pre-season. Okay. No, so, no, está, no tienen permitido en la pretemporada llevar los perros sueltos por la época de año que es. Es que en Noruega, por lo que a mí me explicaron, que esto no lo ha dicho ella, en la época de cría de los animales no pueden llevar a los perros sueltos, pero en la, en la otra época sí. And I think if you are uh, biking with one dog or two and you let one dog run free, yeah. I don't think that's good enough training for the one running free. It should be running in the woods and playing yeah. and really running, not just running beside the bike. Yeah. So then I wouldn't call it training yeah. for that dog. So you, you prefer go the uh, go with the dogs free? Uh, yeah, out in the bush. Not behind, mm. like Tom Andres, for example. No, but uh, you see his results, so yeah. it's many ways leading to Rome. Ah, dice que ella prefiere llevar a los perros eh, sueltos, corriendo a su aire, mirando por aquí y tal, y no llevarles detrás. Y le he dicho, eh, o sea, no llevarles como Tom Andres. Y me ha dicho, eh, Ton Andrés es el mejor también. Y me ha dicho que hay muchas maneras de hacerlo. But did he ever do dry land? What? Did Tom Andrés do dry land? No. No. And it's the same, because then you don't have to be so stressed in the pre-season and yeah. in the fall. So my husband, not him, my but husband. yeah, our <laughs> husband, he, uh, he's training way uh, shorter than we do. Yeah. So even now in October, he can go for just uh, four, six K with his team yeah. because he can do a slow, slow, slow start because his main races is on snow. Yeah. So we, we have really different ways of training, but also he does every second day, more or less, and we train more than him. But since we can, or we take our dogs inside, We do the file thing and we pet and we are yeah, yeah. a lot with the dogs. We build up their psychological. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, my husband's dogs, they live outside, two dogs, ch -ch -ch -ch, yeah. like that. And dice then. que es una forma diferente de hacerlo que, por ejemplo, dice que Ton Andrés no compite en tierra y que ella sí que entrena más que su marido, pero porque su marido las competiciones las tiene más tarde en la nieve. Y que, por ejemplo, son dos dif formas diferentes. Su marido tiene cada dos perros en boxes y ella, después de entrenar, los perros eh, están en casa, les liman las uñas, las patas, no sé qué, que aunque entrenen más, luego como que 
les recolocan la mente o no sé, no sé cómo traducir eso. And when you if you have one or two or three or four dogs, uh, like probably you have. Uh, uh, the only that have more than uh, ten dogs is Roberto. Yeah, it's uh, it yeah it's uh, no, easy. And uh, Oscar also have Oscar six or six. seven or. Yeah, but anyway, eight dogs. Uh, if you if you train hard and it's mentally hard for them, yeah. it's easier when you have a few dogs to rebuild the yeah. kind of the trust. Ah, dice que eso, que aunque tú entrenes más fuerte, que entrenes más fuerte que su marido, es más fácil rehabilitarles mentalmente si luego están dentro de casa que no cada... o sea, que no en un kennel. Because I believe that, as I said, dogs are great athletes and it's the mental part that we need to... They are able to do this and they perform like this, so how are we going to... Yeah. <laughs> eh, otra, otra pregunta de Pedro que... <laughs> Que tiene You're mucha. always laughing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 eh, para una misma prueba, ¿entrenaría igual a un perro Greyster o a un Eurohound? Uh, uh, for the same race, uh, would you train uh, uh, a Greyster? Uh, the same as an Eurohound? Yes, we have uh, right now we have two uh, Eurohounds on our team yeah. from Chetil yeah. and they do exactly the same things. But they are not as uh, explosive and strong as the Greyster, so uh, we hardly never do um, mono sport with them because in, uh, uh, when they not perform very well in monosport. Yeah. I don't want them to have that feeling. I want them to be in the happy setting. Yeah, dice que sí que entrena a los a, tanto al Eurohound como al Greyster de la misma forma. Eh, de hecho, en el equipo de su hijo hay dos Eurohound de su marido y dos Greyster suyos, pero que cuando eh, eh, with the Eurohound Do, uh, do you never do uh, Yeah, monologue? I do. It's just with our two dogs because they are uh, not ah. so eager. But uh, normally it's totally the same. Yeah. Dice que lo único que no hace con ellos es eh, actividades monodog, o sea, patín con un perro que mínimo hace con dos porque los Eurohounds son como eh, menos fuertes, entonces no quiere que tengan la sensación de que es muy costoso para ellos o algo así. So Eso to, es lo único que hace diferente, que el resto hace exactamente lo mismo. You have to look at the dog, because our two dogs are not so good in mono, and yeah. then we adjust it. Dice But, que, que hay que ver al perro, que por ejemplo sus dos perros no son muy buenos en mono dog. So if you have a 20 kilo Eurohound compared to a 36 yeah. kilo Dice Greyhound. Dice que es comparar un perro de 20 kilos Eurohound con un perro de 36 kilos Greyster. It will be differences, yeah. yeah. But they are quite the same in the head pero que es igual en la mente. Eh, ¿Más preguntas? You want a short, was that the last one? Yeah. Then, uh, maybe you saw it on Instagram. No se fueron por ahora, son. Yeah. So, Andrea is um, training oh. like... Maybe it was difficult to bust open in. We are training a lot. Uh, to have our, uh, we don't want uh, barking in front of training anymore. Because it's so nice to have quiet dogs. Dice que no quiere que los perros estén ladrando antes del entrenamiento porque es muy chulo que estén callados. And it's all, all, always difficult if you go to train uh, where there are other people, like in a, a skiing place or something. It's dice, more nice to have quiet dogs. Dice que, que claro, que es, es mucho mejor cuando vas a entrenar a un sitio, a una pista de esquí, que los perros estén callados y que no molesten al resto de gente. 
So I think the sport needs to, if we behave more, we are more welcome in different places. Yeah. Dice que si el, depor el deporte evoluciona a un, mejor a un mejor comportamiento, estaremos mejor vistos en más, en más lugares. And I can promise you, we had the worst dogs ever, from the beginning. Or? I've been crying a lot. Yeah, she's been crying helping me to the start because the dogs were so crazy when she was a little bit younger. Yeah. But uh, now, Andre, he really, when I broke my collarbone, he, he said, I don't stand it anymore. So now the dogs are totally quiet when he starts. So that's what the movie is just showing that. Uh, can no you put one, another? Yeah. yeah. So, so the movie has actually started now. So this is our dog yard, and he trains out from there. So ah, que esa es su casa y salen desde ahí. Y que al principio que fue muy difícil para ella, que incluso ella lloraba porque los perros yeah, ladraban yeah, mucho, yeah. que tenía los perros más oh, locos yeah, del mundo, yeah, pero que como que lo han conseguido. And how do you do, how do you train this? Oh, it's so hard because <laughs> you have to be consistent. Yeah. To never give up, and if you give up one time, you have to do it all over again. Dice que es muy duro, que nunca te tienes que rendir, y si un día te rindes, eh, pues... You just sit a... down, and you wait. And you can sit there for 20 minutes, or you can... And the, the dogs are in the lines, and you can start walking around, throwing some stones in the woods, and... Or just lay down, and... Uh, you just... Never give up. Uh, and this young dog, Boysen, he's uh, one and a half now, he was really crazy. And he's just totally quiet too. Uh, it, y dice, pues nada, que es eh, dejar a los perros atados en las líneas, estar 20 minutos, media hora, paseando alrededor, tirando una piedra, mm, estando. But sometimes you're in a hurry and it's like, no, we just go. No, you can't go. It must be eso. quiet. Y que alguna vez igual estás impaciente y dices, venga, voy a salir y pues que no puedes hacer eso. Tienes que siempre esperar a que estén callados para salir. So when Chetel is starting like the World Championship in Hamar yeah. this year, he was eight dog class, and his car was far away in the end, and uh, he did all by himself. No barking, no came to the start. You know yeah. the Germans, yeah, yeah, a little yeah. bit like that. Yeah, Tom do this, yeah, also yeah. Heine Winter, yeah. now Remy Cost also. Yeah, yeah. and uh, it's so much uh, nice to be around the dogs. Yeah, but you need uh, a lot of ta time yeah. for uh, doing yeah. this. Yeah, you do that. <laughs> a little, uh, a little, uh, another short one where Andre and Julia is going out for training the dogs. And we have to show something from her too. <laughs> que tiene que enseñaros algo de ella también. Are you allowed in uh, Norway go with the ATV without helmet? We don't have a license plate either. <laughs> don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> Le, yeah. le he preguntado que si les permiten en Noruega ir con el quad sin casco y me ha dicho que tampoco llevan la matrícula, entonces que no hay problema. <laughs> But we try to behave and when we meet people we say hello yeah. and uh, if their people are angry we just stop and then it's so nice when the dogs are quiet 
because then you can actually talk. Yeah, yeah. When I earlier couldn't talk at all. It was just crazy. <laughs> Dice que ellos cuando van entrenando siempre intentan saludar a la gente que se cruzan amablemente y que cuando alguien está enfadado por los perros o tal, que es muy bueno poder parar, que los perros no estén ladrando y hablar un poco con esas personas. So, <laughs> Roberto, eh, can't stop. No, I know, I know. It was the same with us three years ago. And uh, there are hunters and horses and you meet anything and they are scared or and if you stop, it's totally crazy. So this is very nice. Yeah. Le, le he dicho a Roberto que tú no puedes parar y me dice que a ella le pasa va también hace tres años. <laughs> now, <laughs> now he has a new a new mission or a new. Uh, I don't know how to explain a new stick. Then when he stop, he put into the floor. Uh -huh. ah. Tienes un yeah. eh, el video del invento del clavo. <laughs> It's important to say that uh, to manage to have a quiet dogs, it doesn't help to be um, physical or yeah. aggressive. You must be quiet. That's yeah. the clue. So it's not like, oh, shut up. It doesn't help because then it's, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you have to say that. It's no uh, physical thing involved. Yeah. So, yeah. I think uh, when he stopped, he put a, a stick that is uh, fixed in the ATV and put into the grass. <laughs> It's the only... He can stop now with this. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 He put this into the grass. A very good idea. Do you understand? Do yeah. You? Come on, and when he, it's when a break. He stop. He do this. But, um, the uh, ATV can't move. No. Yeah. Do you understand? That? Yeah, yeah. Sure. It's yeah, like yeah. a break. Yeah. But in uh, in Borken in Germany, 2000 yeah. something, Shetil's dogs went under the fence. Eight dog team, yeah. and he just said. Wait, and he, he went off the cart, the tracer cart, and he took the lead dogs, and ah. so uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> But say uh, thank you because uh, they are getting tired. Ah, que muchas gracias, que ya se está cansando. And this was only our thoughts. And it's a million ways to Dice que son roam. solo sus pensamientos que hay millones de maneras de crecer. Uh, he said that you are the best or something like this. <laughs> you win the game. It was nice to see you. <laughs> Now we start the party. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Uh, we need to take a photo all together. Yeah, sure. We need a photo too. <laughs> Hi, Elena. Hi. Let me you. Sí, sí, me ha dicho que sí, que ella quiere una foto. Oh, 
championship of German Shepherds. Ah, cool. Yes, and it was okay. And yeah. It's different, but it's, yeah, but it's, it's the same family. Yes, yes. Thank you very much for coming and yeah.